Here's a rotational kinematics problem that involves a drill at 2,000 RPMs. It goes from 0 to 2,000 RPMs in half a second. So if you can sort of picture something like a drill that looks like this, and there's a chuck at the end of the drill here which holds the drill bits, this portion right here starts to spin around like that, and then it goes from rest to 2,000 in half a second. What the problem would like to know? What is the angular acceleration? And how many revolutions does the drill pass through as it accelerates in that half a second? So the first thing I would do if I were you is I'd look at this 2,000 revolutions per minute and I would just immediately convert it into radians per second. There's another video which shows you how to do that, but for that I get 209 radians per second. So I would just start with that number. I think that's the best way to go. How would you find the alpha in part A? Well, we can sort of drop down to sort of the equation 2, which we have for this type of work here, which says that omega is omega naught plus alpha delta t, something like that. If I solve this for alpha, I'll get that alpha is omega minus omega naught over delta t, something like that. And now I'm just free to sort of plug in some of the numbers that I know here. In particular, uh, the omega that it sort of ended up with was not the 2,000. I'm going to work with the 209 radians per second. And the omega naught is zero because the drill started at rest. And, of course, it does this whole thing in 0 0.5 seconds or half a second. So there's your first answer right there. You can sort of get the alpha to work out, and you can sort of calculate that yourself. But what I wanted to point out in, that in particular here is that if you look very carefully, what are the units going to be? Well, I've got this radian in the top right here. There's a radian right there, and there's a second there and a second there. So if I get all this to work out here, I will get the alpha in radians per second squared, which is what is needed. So you can sort of work that out yourself. Now, the next problem asked in Part B is as it spins up between the 2,000 and zero in the half second, how many times does this chuck key rotate around? And that would be an indicator of the revolutions that went under, and that's what they're asking in the next problem. Well, we have an equation for that too. That's sort of equation one, or the analogous of equation one here for linear motion that we have for rotational motion. Something like that. Theta is theta zero plus omega zero delta C plus a half alpha T squared, straight up. We can just put some things in and see what we get. So the theta we'll get here, we'll just assume that wherever the drill was sitting when someone came and pulled the trigger was a zero, so we'll just call that a zero. It also starts by in this, this rest rotational state. It's not rotating at all. So the, uh, the theta just comes out to be one-half alpha delta t squared, something like that. And I think we're in pretty good shape quantity-wise to plug things in here. So I can just get sort of the one-half times the alpha times the 0.5 seconds, all of that squared, where, yes, the alpha that we're plugging in is the one you got from part A because that's the angular acceleration of the drill that caused it to speed up. So in this particular case, I just want to point out here that because this alpha here is in radians per second, the theta that you get for this, you'll get so many radians for this, for this number here, so many radians. But be careful because the problem asks very specifically how many revolutions does it go under, undergo in that half second. So you've got to convert the radians to revolutions, but you should know how to do that. There's another video describing how that works. So I would multiply this radians here by the fact that there's one revolution in every 2 pi radians. In other words, just take your number of radians and divide by 2 pi, and you'll get another number, which is actually the answer to the problem here. Let's say another number here, which is going to be in revolutions, and that should be the answer you report. So there's oftentimes they want revolutions, not radians. So you know how the number of times that the drill turned in very sort of commonsensical terms here. So that's what the final answer would, would come out to be.